So July 14th, 2009, Alexandra was diagnosed with a rare degenerative brain disease that was based on her MRI scan. She was a year and a half at the time. That led to a muscle biopsy, which we learned she had a mitochondrial disease. And putting the two together, it was called Lee's Complex 4. We learned about the epi at one of the auctions. Uh, Dr. Guy Miller came and spoke. We became more interested and found out that this study was, was going to happen, but it was one for kids that were quote unquote 60 days to death. When the study came to children's, Dr. Sinedo could only pick five children, and Alex was chosen to be one of them. He told us choosing Alex was because she was one of the sickest. And I think for us, we knew she was sick, but that confirmed that she was really sick. Uh, but we hadn't heard any, any results anywhere of any complications or any side effects um, with anyone that had taken it. So we ended up choosing to do it. So Alex was uh, three and a half when she started the epi. And once the 14 weeks was up, we could elect to keep her on it or take her off. And we decided, well, there hasn't been any harm. There's been no side effects not reported in her or any other kids. So we decided to keep her on it which we're so grateful we did because after the first 14 weeks, then we started seeing this, these big differences, not necessarily in her motor skill and her ability to do things, but more of how she became engaged and became more of a little person rather than just this little, like the girls oh. call her alone. It's been really a dramatic change for Alex where she was deteriorating pretty significantly before she went on it. Once she started the epi, We've seen a lot less illness in her, and we've also seen her recover from her illnesses much quicker. She has a sense of humor now. She can joke with you. Uh, she uh, will hide under the table and look at me and go, shh, because she's going to like jump out at her sister. So she um, has developed her own little personality, and it's quite spicy. She says more words every day. We look at each other and go, did you hear what she just said? Because she says one word, and now she's starting to put two words together. So we see the progression all the time. When she goes to Dr. Sinedo's checkups, he talks about how she didn't have any reflexes in her legs, pretty much, when, before she started on the epi, and now he's starting to see a little bit of reflex, because it's not just giving us hope, but it's giving everybody, that um, all these kids that have Mido, hope for the future. So I think that's what the best part of it is. Alex is five today and has been on the Epi 743 for a year and a half. We look forward to her continuing on it uh, as long as it's available, which uh, is a concern to us. The other thing about the Epi is that we know that it's not a cure. We're not tricking ourselves into that at all, but it's really improved her quality of life. At some point, uh, you know, it's going to, the disease will overwhelm her and, and that will be it. Does the future scare you? Yes. It, yeah, it can. How so? Just thinking about her not being there. And you never know when she's gonna die. That's scary. In the meantime, we're living more about her being with us for a while and that someday she will go rather than waiting for that day to come. She'd get sick and we'd go, okay, is this it? Is she gonna die this time? We, you know, you just don't know. So I think once she got on the epi and she started to improve, then we started to kind of look at each other and go, we gotta stop waiting for her to die. And we gotta start living for her to die. We had a bucket list. We were gonna get these things done for her before we lose her. Now we're gonna have to add some more to her bucket list. Yep. Mm -hmm.